Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointed Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra continues his message titled, How to Neutralize Curses. He has been speaking about why there are no curses in heaven and what this means for us as Christians. Today, he shares on one of the reasons why there are no curses in heaven. Let's join in. The third reason why there are no curses in heaven is that they shall see his face. Whose face? The face of Jesus. First of all, I want us to examine what is it about the face of Jesus that stops curses. So let's examine his face. I'll use two scriptures. Number one, there is a light that radiates from his face that destroys evil. In Matthew chapter 17, the Bible talks about an experience that Jesus had with Peter, James, and John, and it's called the transfiguration. Transfiguration just means the transformation. Matthew 17 verse 1. After six days, Jesus taken Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringing them up into a high mountain apart and was transfigured before them. That's the word metamorphosis, a sudden change. What did they see on his face? His face shone as the sun. His raiment or his clothes was white as light. And behold, there appeared to him two men, Moses and Elias, talking with him. Here the Bible describes some people who saw the face of Jesus. Not his face as in, uh, in his humanity, but his face as in glory. He changed from a human being to God himself. And when they saw his face, a bright light was radiating from his face. I've seen Jesus at least about seven times. And I've seen him in two different formats. I have seen him as an ordinary human being. I've also seen him like the way it was described here, in another way. Because even if you read the scripture, you realize that God can appear in different forms. In Mark 16, 12, the Bible says, after that, he appeared unto them in another form. So God can appear in, you see, he has various forms. But one is when you see him in his humanity. And one is when you see him in his glory. And that's what they saw. So the first time I saw Jesus, somebody asked me, what did you see? And I said, I saw somebody like a human being. But it was as if he was made out of light. And his face is shone with a bright, dazzling Light. Now, that light that comes from his face, it destroys evil. I remember years ago when my father was alive, that time was around, he was around maybe in his 50s. He was bedridden. Then one day, as he was hospitalized, prayer warriors from his church, the Methodist church, they decided to come and visit him. And they prayed. This one just took about an hour. And after the prayer, they left. But he said in the night, whilst he was asleep, suddenly a bright light started filling his room. Till the light became very intense, bright. Then he said, by his bed stood two old women and a little boy. Ask your neighbor who is standing by your bed. <laughs> when this intense light started shining, these demons, they ran out of the room. And then he said to me, the light just faded and it became dark again. He was healed instantly, just by that light. <laughs> Instant. Somebody was bedridden. He just got up and started moving. Healed instant. 
So, in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8, Paul said, Then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall destroy with the spirit of his mouth and with the brightness of his coming. In other words, even the Antichrist, there is something about the face of Jesus that releases a certain light. That even the Antichrist himself cannot stand. How much more cancer? How much more sickness? So when Jesus looks at something, evil is destroyed. His face. There's something about his face. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that there are no curses in heaven because of the face of Jesus, which emits a light that curses, sickness, failure, and evil cannot stand. Join us again tomorrow for continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. I am pregnant. Dear Kafra, at your convention last year, you prayed for all those who wanted to have a child. I believed God for the fruit of the womb, and to the glory of God, I conceived that same month. I thank God for using you to bless us. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony, and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Are you in need of money? Is there something you want to buy or someone you have to pay? Then this revolutionary book, Cryptocurrency by Kakrabaden, is what you are looking for. It will unlock sources of money you have but don't know you possess. You are just a book away from turning your finances around. Order the book, Cryptocurrency, How to Profit from Free Labor, through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Cryptocurrency in the comment section or message window.